This is just one piece of a multi-part course on bitmap design in Moho Pro 13. To gain access to this course, you can pre-order on Tune Files, join us on YouTube and get access when it releases, or you can purchase this course once it releases on Udemy. The first thing we'll do is create an image layer so we can do our sketch. I'll also come over here and just remove this vector layer. We don't really need it, so we can just click on it and then hit delete layer. And then over here, we have the new layer button. And underneath that, we can choose image. Here, we're going to name this new image sketch. And we can browse. So let's just go to browse file. And we're putting it inside of the Chad bitmap design. I'm actually going to just double click and place it inside of the images for that folder. So just once again to show you, we're under Chad bitmap design inside of the exercise files, and then there is a folder in that for images. So let's just place it in there. And once you're good, just make sure you're in that folder and you can hit cancel. And then we want to make sure that the width and height is the same as the dimensions for the document. So you can see right here, we have that set that gives us a good range for all of this and we want it transparent for the background. And if you wish, once you have all this set up, you can hit save as defaults. So that way you don't have to worry about resizing everything every time you create a new image layer. So once you're good, you can hit create. And we now have that new image layer on screen. It's time to access the bitmap tools. You'll notice that we are now able to access those bitmap tools since we are on an image layer. So we can come over here and click on the brush or B if you wish on your keyboard. And at the top, you're going to have access to a wide range of options not available to you with the vector tools. You'll also see we have a paint bucket, an eraser and a crop tool, all of which have their own different parameters you can adjust at the top. So with that, we're going to start with the brush since we're simply sketching out the character. When I click on select brush, you'll see we have access to different categories with different brushes within them. Under draw, for instance, we have just different types such as soft pencil, which is what I'll probably end up using as I sketch. But you can go through and really pick out anything that you feel works for your style. You might have a certain brush that you just like to sketch with. Go ahead and explore that if you wish. You'll also notice here we have a gear icon. And if we come over here, you'll also see on the right, there's also that gear icon, which is the brush manager. So if we click on this, you'll gain access to different categories and different ways you can adjust this stuff that just goes beyond what we can do at the top bar. Now, I'm not gonna probably get too much into this because this is something you can play with and really mess around with on your own time once you hone in on a brush. I just also wanted to point out that, for instance, by default, you might not see ink listed under your brush types until you go here and enable it under this category. And again, I will be using ink once we get to the inking section. But for now, make sure you have access at least to draw so that way you can come in and find perhaps a pencil brush. So with that said, I'm just going to X out of this. And again, there's so much you can do with those brushes and you can duplicate them, you can make your own. And that is something I can perhaps cover in a separate video or even a course. So with that, we're going to dive in now and start sketching. So with the brush selected, you'll also want to make sure you're okay with the options. For instance, if you want spacing between the line as you draw it up, you can add that in. Smoothing will automatically create a smoother look and I'm actually going to decrease that down to zero and you have other things down here such as direction and behavior I'm just gonna leave that at default for your size you can come in and play around with that and adjust it however you see fit so if I come in here I could just apply some color and see what that looks like and as you can see we have that the size is probably a little bit too big so let's just come in here and decrease it a little bit and I can also just undo that stroke. And I'm also going to lower the opacity. I don't want it pure black. So let's put it down maybe to about 50%. You 
You can also go in and adjust blend modes. You can do other things with your transparency. And of course, you can always explore more with your brush manager at the end. So with that, I'm going to now jump to my iPad using my stylus and come in here and focus on the top. And we're going to start with the head. So my advice is just to pick a spot you're comfortable with and come in and just start applying nice, quick strokes. When you are sketching like this, and again, we're just sketching over this reference, but when sketching, it's just important to get the basic shapes down. So in this case, you can see that we are sketching out a shape for the head, even if we can't see where all those lines are immediately. For instance, right here, we really have no line on the reference to show us where we should place this head, but it's important that we design the whole head so that way we can properly animate it out later. So that way we can properly attach the hair to the head and do different things like that. So I'm just going to come in here and just sort of get that rounded off. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit messy. In some cases, that doesn't matter. Again, this is just for our reference. It's just a sketch. But if you feel the need, you can always click on the eraser. And you can adjust the size and the opacity at the top as well as the hardness. But we can just come in here and clean some of this up just a little bit if you wish. Again, it's just all part of the process. Now, the other thing I also recommend when you're going throughout this process is if you're using a tablet like I am, don't be afraid to flip that tablet around because as you get to certain angles, your arm just doesn't work the best at certain angles that the drawing needs. And so if you flip your iPad like a piece of paper, you can get access to those angles and just take your time and feel it out. So now let's get the ears in here. Just come in and get that. And we can add in that little detail right here. And we can capture this ear on the other side as well, just like that. Now, one thing to point out, if you were sketching this without a reference and you were to go to, let's say, the face next, you'd want to feel out how the face is going to be laid out. And so since we're doing a three-fourths view, the first thing you'd want to do is figure out the center of the head. And since it is a three-fourths view, it won't just be straight in the center as how we see it. You'll notice in the reference, his nose is slightly to the left versus where it is from the center. And so if we were to do a three-fourths view, you can use this kind of as a guide. We could come in here and place down some guidelines for this. So it's kind of going up and down like that. And you could come in here and then feel out where you want the ears and the eyes to be placed. You'll notice that the eyes are close to the same level or positioning in terms of the Y positioning as the ears. And so once you get that figured out, everything else can kind of fall into place. So we could come in here and, for instance, you could sketch something out like this. And then from there, again, knowing that this is a three-fourths view, that allow you to come in and sketch up all the other portions of this if you wanted to. So I just wanted to point that out. That is one way you can approach this if you're not using a reference. I'm actually going to just undo that just so it doesn't get in our way. Again, my lines are kind of dark here. And we can continue on. The next thing we can do with this sketch is do the hair since that's probably the biggest thing. Some characters might not have a lot of hair and you know, you sketch it up really quick and move on. But the hair is kind of a thing here. And so we're just going to jump in and tackle it next. So starting near the top again, like we did with the hair, I can just come in. And we're just going to sketch this up. Again, following the lines as you see them. We can come in and just go one by one, making sure we get those curves. Come down here and just, again, go down to the bottom and then go to the other side and just work your way back up. So here we are. You can come in like that. And then we can just kind of move down where the hairline 
meets the top of the head. And then get this other little strand of hair right there. Let's move it up like that. Make sure we get all the line work that we can. Just come in here and just keep feeling it out. We're now at the sideburns here, so we're just going to come down and make sure we get the divots of those sideburns as best as we can. And just come in. And I'll come back to the ponytail, but we're just going to finish the top portion of the hair first. So it's coming over like this. Just going all the way back up. And then we have some details inside here. We're just going to make sure we get just like that. Now, one thing I'm going to do is use the eraser and come in and erase this portion right here because I just think I want to get a more clean sketch compared to where I just was with that. So let's just try that again. I'm going to grab the brush one more time. And you can see here we have these divots. I really want to make sure I emphasize that in my sketch so that way I know for sure what I'm wanting to ink there when the time comes when we get to the next section. And actually I'm just going to come in and kind of clean this part up a little bit as well. Just raise that up so that way we can get that little divot right there. So now we go down to the ponytail. You can see we have this little hair strand right there. I'm actually just going to ignore that. I'm not going to include it in this new design. I could, but I never really cared for that little piece going up like that. And so we're just going to come over here and start sketching like this. Now again, we're going to sketch the hair out even though we can't see it behind the head. We're going to include it because it's going to be much, much easier to animate if we have these things designed out so that way they can attach to other pieces. It makes sense we would want to attach the ponytail to the head when rigging. So you really want to keep that in mind when you're going about this process. And so like here, we're just going to have to kind of make some shape up in terms of what the ponytail looks like based off of those other portions. And I can come in here and just maybe round it off like so. And I might actually remove that from the sketch when I get to the facial features because that might be kind of clashing. And I kind of want to get this as smooth looking as possible so that way you can understand what's going on. And then when I ink it, I'll just make sure I fill that in. But for right now, I'm going to do that so that way I can emphasize that you do want to do it that way when it comes time to ink up your characters. And there we go. So now we have the hair complete. We can now move on to the facial features. So here we are. We're just going to keep building up on this sketch. And first, we're just going to start with the eyes with the face. So again, you could have your facial lines, those guidelines I mentioned before, if you would want to approach it that way. But again, since we're just using this reference, we're going to come in and just try to mimic it. So I'll start with his right eye. And again, it's his right eye, but for us, it's the left eye. Just come in. Just get that sketched up like that. Same on this side right here. Just take your time. Again, nice, quick, even strokes. And I'm just going to undo that one. Again, either undo or erase. I don't recommend erasing the layer and starting because, again, Moho sometimes doesn't really understand what to do with that. So we're just going to keep moving, making sure we got that line work in, just like that. And then let's move over to the eyebrows next. Get those in. There we are. 
And then there's the line work for the nose. And then the mouth. And we will be, again, creating different mouth poses for this character. But we're going to split that up and we'll sketch those separately later on. For now, we're just going to focus in on the main design here. And then we can come back to those other details later on in the course. And there we go. So now we have the facial features sketched up and in place. The next part is to move down and focus on the body. To view the rest of this course and gain access to the source files, you can check us out on ToonFiles.com, Udemy, or join us on YouTube.